Yo, 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 it's JSF, and um, I know what a lot of y'all are thinking. Yo, DC fandom happened, we didn't get shit, no Injustice 3 reveal, um, nothing happened for, as far as fighting games go, we saw Gotham Knights get revealed, which has these two characters in it, not necessarily Damien, but Robin and Red Hood, um, we saw, you know, uh, the Rocksteady Suicide Squad game get revealed, but we didn't see anything about Injustice, no Injustice, no Injustice 3, no Mortal Kombat, no nothing. So what the hell, man? What's going on? What happened? Hey, I got y'all, man. I'm here to let y'all know a little something. Don't, don't be disappointed yet. So something that went under the radar, something that flew under the radar, uh, was that a few days before DC Fandom actually happened, after it had been announced, after the date had been announced, and they already said 24 hours, uh, you know, full 24 hours show, 24 hours of content, etc., etc., etc. Apparently, a lot of the fans had an issue with that. Like, oh, wait, it's only once in only 24 hours, and if I miss it, I miss it forever. Like, what if I have to work? What if I have this? What if I have that? Blah, 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 blah. Apparently, DC heard the fans, and their solution to this was to split DC Fandom into two days. So, I think a lot of people... I don't I don't know if a lot of people know this or not um, I haven't seen many people talk about it but a lot of people may not know the DC fandom was has been split up into two days so the first day which just was today or yesterday it'll be yesterday when this video goes up um the the major announcements right you know the Aquaman panel the Shazam panel the Batman Robert Pattinson panel the Snyder Cut panel all the major 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 big panels happened today right and it seemed like oh that was everything DC fandom was cool blah 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 blah, blah. but that wasn't everything the original plan was 24 hours of content for 24 hours right and if you notice, the DC fandom that we got was eight hours of content and it loops. So there's eight hours of content, then it restarts, then it restarts. So it airs three times, but it's only eight hours of content. Um, the content that we saw was the Hall of Heroes, which is DC version of Hall H at Comic-Con. It was the Hall of Heroes that had all the major announcements. But um, if you're not familiar, there were originally there are originally other uh there are other halls as well it wasn't just originally supposed to be the hall of heroes there was originally going to be different areas right there was like a U verse a kid verse an insider verse there were different areas for uh for different people depending on what you wanted to watch there were different places you could go to see it and that's an idea that i don't want to say they abandoned <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't want to say they abandoned the idea. That's not accurate, but they got a little bit away from it um, And they just kind of stuck to keeping it simple, right? So one day the first day August 22nd They had everything lined up one hall boom. Here's this but that wasn't every single announcement That wasn't every single panel if you look at the names when they announce everybody who's at DC Fandom, before they say Ed many more, if you look at the names Ed Boone's Ed Boon, his name is in there. It, he has he's at DC Fandom and we didn't see him. You know what I mean? Like it like and he even tweeted it and it was like Ed Boon, Dwayne Johnson. He was like, Oh, I'm on a panel with the rock. No, it's just uh, alphabetical order. I'm not on a panel with the rock. But he didn't say he's not on a panel. You know what I mean? So, for those of you who don't know, D day two of DC Fandom is Saturday, September 12th. I was going to say second for some reason. I believe that's a Saturday, but it's September 12th. And that's the second day of... Uh, that's the second day of DC Fandom where we have much more panels, much more things going on. And one of the one of the panels is... Well, it's September 12th to 13th. But um, they have panels for shows that they didn't necessarily have panels for today, like Pennyworth, like Doom Patrol. They have some other things. They have Legends of Tomorrow. And they also have a panel called Inside Injustice, making the hit games and comics. Um, I believe there's another one as well, or that maybe that's just it. Yeah, Injustice 2, There's a it says show match. Latin America, Brazil, I don't know what that means. But <clears throat> Injustice 2 is a part of, or the Injustice universe in general, is a part of the September DC uh, fandom. So 
if you were disappointed i know we got gotham knights and we got uh suicide squad killed the justice league and i think both of those look really good um i might end up covering both of those games because i think i anticipate buying and playing both of those games and streaming so you'll probably if you're a follower of my content you'll probably see that but if you're wondering why wait nothing i revealed a dc fandom no nether realm no mortal kombat i'm honestly of the belief that mortal kombat is done as far as content goes aside from like costumes like combat league skins and stuff like that i think we'll keep coming i don't think that's gonna keep happening but i think as far as like new characters big big dlc i think aftermath was the end of that um if you are familiar with mortal kombat netherrealm games usually when they rename their game re advertise it resell it a year after it comes out it's the final version and this time we got three characters we got a story mode expansion and we're still getting more skins you know what i mean so when they said that they were going to support this longer than any nris game ever they didn't lie right we don't have more characters than ever but we got nine characters in total we got more stages we got more story content which we never got so they didn't lie if they never patched mortal kombat 11 again they didn't lie but a, a lot of us would be happy right <clears throat> so i think the next step is to an announce injustice 3 even ed boone's twitter is like hey we make mortal kombat and injustice i don't think there's a question as to what the next game is anymore because his twitter is just so up front there's batman there's scorpion there's scorpion with a batman shirt on and it says hey we make superhero games and mortal kombat games you know what i mean like it's pretty clear um i just think we have to wait till september 12th because that's when the injustice panel is that's when the well, justice 2 panel and there's a couple of them right and that's when the second part of dc fandom is i think originally the plan was to announce it today <clears throat> but i think it was due to fan uh fan outcry and saying eh, i don't know i don't know but dc decided all right y'all want us to y'all one more time fuck it we'll split it up that gives them more time to fine tune their event so they're not going to complain about that you know what i mean so they split it up the event is now two days and day one which we just saw which i think was really cool and day two i think is the day we're going to see injustice so if you're wondering when you're going to see an injustice 3 reveal i would set your calendars for either september 12th or 13th if it doesn't happen to either one of those days i don't know what to tell you maybe the game awards but i'm pretty sure almost certain that these are the days and if you're wondering why i was so sure about the first day until now they didn't announce that they were splitting dc fandom up until two or three days before it happened you know what i mean they it was a pretty last minute thing until like wednesday or thursday before the saturday they said hey we're gonna split D dc fandom up into two days so even when i first looked at the schedule for dc fandom everything was all everything was there and then today when i looked at it again it said some things that september 12th so in case you're wondering why it seemed like everybody was expecting today it was it flew super under the radar nobody really paid that much attention to it until you realize a lot of things didn't happen you're like wait where'd all those panels go where'd this information go you know what i mean so i <clears throat> just wanted to talk about that for a little bit for the people who say oh nothing's happening oh blah blah blah, blah. No, I think we're still getting Injustice 3 next year. Um, I still believe that. Um, I don't think we're getting whatever that leaked combat pack is with Melina, Havoc. I don't believe in that. I don't think that's happening. Sorry if you want those characters. Um, but I do think Injustice 3 will be announced September 12th and 13th. But hey, let me know what y'all think. Do you guys agree? Do you disagree? If you like the video, shoot, uh, subscribe whenever Injustice is announced. Whenever it does happen, I'm definitely going to cover it start to finish from this channel. Um, Injustice is one of my favorite video game series of all time so i'm definitely covering everything about the game and when it comes out i'm gonna wash everybody in that game and be the best so let me know um subscribe if you like the content i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here i've been talking for too long jsf y'all stay safe i'm out of here